Welcome to our lesson about using the pattern tools in the assembly environment. In my graphic area, I've got a plate and a fastener. Let's go to modeling view now. As you can see, the base has a rectangular pattern applied to it. It consists of 16 holes spaced at 2.5 inches apart. Let's go to the component panel on the assemble tab and activate the pattern tool. Now let's go to the rectangular pattern tab. Let's select a component to pattern first. We'll select the fastener. For direction 1, let's select this edge here. The number of instances, let's enter 4. And the spacing will be 2.5 inches. Let's reverse the direction by clicking here. And now let's select direction 2. Number of instances, also 4. And spacing 2.5 inches. Let's click OK. As you see, my fastener was consumed by the rectangular pattern. Let's go back to assembly view. Under fastener 1, we've got mates 1 and 2. The other instances of the fastener don't have mates. Let's double click on mate 2 and let's adjust the offset distance to let's say half an inch. Accept. And now all of the fasteners have moved. Let's take a look at the base now. We'll double click and let's modify the rectangular pattern a little bit. Let's make it 2 inches, for example. Click OK. Return. And obviously we've got a problem now. The fasteners and the holes don't match up. Let's undo that change to the rectangular pattern. OK, let's activate the Pattern tool again. Instead of going to the Rectangular Pattern tab, we're going to stay on the Associative tab. I'll select the fastener again. And let's make sure that we're in modeling view. For the associative feature to pattern, let's select the rectangular pattern. We'll select it right in the tree. And then let's click OK. Again, my fastener was consumed by the component pattern. Let's return to assembly view. And let's specify an offset distance for mate 2, let's say a quarter of an inch, 0.25. OK. And the fasteners move. Now let's edit our rectangular pattern. Instances 5. Distance 2 inches. Same thing for direction 2, 5 instances, 2 inches. And let's click OK. Now the number of fasteners has changed, and the fasteners have followed the holes to the new locations. As you can see, applying the pattern tool while you're in the assembly environment can give you greater flexibility. And this concludes our lesson about using the pattern tool in the assembly environment.